Hello there, YouTube. Yeah, I'm standing at a distance. This is this has been our day. Pouring down rain. It's uh it's 404 in the afternoon. And it's 50 degrees, believe it or not. When are you supposed to get this warm? And it's pouring down rain. But uh the rain and the nastiness, that's not what bothers me. It bothers me. What really has got me twerk this morning is who the heck stole my war wagon? <laughs> Kelly took off to the store. Look at that, though. But you know what's nice about being 4 o'clock? We still have 3 hours and 12 minutes of daylight. Sunset is at 7.12 today. I mean, there's even hope enough the sun could come out and... I ain't gonna ride no motorcycle out here in this wet, nasty thing. It ain't never gonna dry that out anytime quick, but anyway. <laughs> Thought I'd come out and say hey for the day. I've been just tankering around and studying stuff. I come walking out here and I thought, man, for one of these days, there'll be a shade tree there and I can sit out there in my um, bistro tables and gawk at the beautiful breeze, you know, the leaves blowing in the breeze. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday the, what are we today? The 12th of March. Is that right? Yeah. 12th. These are what those body magnets look like. And you see they got nylocks underneath so you can control the tension. I just set them just tight enough that I can with my two millimeter Allen. I can I can spin them, but uh, not a not. Uh, you just don't want to tighten these things. Rare earth magnets will they're very fragile when under extreme pressure. But if you notice, you'll see there's a little divot where those magnets are. So that's probably I don't know a millimeter. So they're six together, so it probably rows the body by four millimeters. It's just my guess. Oddly enough, you can hardly notice it at all in the front. And see, they're in the in the rear as well. Or I mean, the underside. That's the lighting kit on it. It's pretty pretty straightforward. And the control module, I think I already showed you guys that. And this is that one jumper. So it's got three jumpers in here. The one to the um, to the far right that you see. There's, come on, camera. There's not a jumper in there. Um, that was the one that uh, that controlled when the reverse lights came on. So by default, <laughs> I don't know why, but the reverse lights were set to come on in forward. It just makes no sense to me. But depending on your setup in your car, because this is a forward running motor, that's just the way the transmission and drive is, or a counterclockwise motor, and uh, like the Traxxas are all, most um, ESCs are set for counterclockwise when the motor's facing backwards, because I don't know, it's just the way they do it. But this one is a regular counterclockwise. I didn't have to set it to clockwise. But in that sense, this was set backwards. Just pulled the jumper out. It's just a little tiny jumper. But cool stuff. Need to clean up. I was just in a a quickie just trying to get everything out of the way so we could drive it. I built my own, the cables, because you, you run, you're running between the... Um, receiver and this control box and that the steering servo is turning the running lights on and the um the uh, uh throttle servo the esc itself is what's controlling um the reverse lights and stuff so anyway the cables that came with the kit were probably half again longer than this truck each so i got them down to Probably less than the length of that floor. Well, probably about the length of that rock rail. And um, there's there's one ends where they're interrupting, and this is when they're going in here. So I've got the the main portion coming in here, and one of the T's 
going over here and one over there and just, just kind of soldered the wires together. Just built my own thing. That's part of that little kit that I got. I showed you guys worked very well. Didn't have to change the servo in the thing. The servos seems to be perfectly fine. I think it's one of those. It's a rebadged version, version of the one I put in. 25 kilogram one that I put in Kelly's Gen 7. Gen 7 sure runs good. And this one's, you know, because it's got a trans a transfer case in here. You can see the from the transmission it's going in the transfer case and then the front and rear um drive lines are coming out there. See there's the tranny entering the case and then the drive shaft's coming out. Pretty wild. Fun stuff these things. Just I I just they just bring so much you always have. I mean, from, I really got into it in the late eighties and from about 2001, 2002, I got out. I don't, just don't know why. It was just life. You know, the kids were at that age, you know, with school and everything and, and going through, you know, their times of their lives, you know, that, uh, We'd break these things out, and as soon as the kids became disinterested, so did I. Work was crazy busy back in those days, and just life happened. Well, here they are again. And now, a new thing since I got out, now there's this whole rock crawling category that you can play with these things pretty much anywhere. We drive around the house, the dogs don't even bother with them anymore. So... Or, or bothered by them. If I get crazy, Leo likes to play with them. He likes to bark at them. And he barks at it until I chase him. Then he goes running around the house. And then, you know, the game is on. He doesn't bite at it or anything. He just gives him an excuse to be crazy Leo. <laughs> All right. I was going to pop these diffs out and make sure these things are well lubed. I always check those things. We haven't gone far enough to harm anything at this point, but the drivetrain in this thing, I don't know if it's a tranny in the transfer case, but this one's noticeably mechanical sounding. Nothing bad, but the camera picks it up so well. You know how we joke about, you guys even joke with me, if you got a tick you can't find, just take that GoPro and walk closely around the motor. It'll It'll tell you where the hot spot's at. It's about camera microphones. They love ticks. Ticks and rattles. They pick them up really, really good. So I notice when I'm editing the videos, because I always edit with my headphones on, that it, it's louder coming through this camera than it actually is when you're standing there driving it. I would say that's a very good job there, Red Cat. Very nice. Metal housing, which is which is nice. Lots of little screws. But heck yeah. I'm happy with that. That's quite nice, actually. Thanks, Red Cat. Of course, I don't think the film it until I'm putting together the last one. But the portal axles, all the gears inside here, everything's all well well lubed, just like the uh, differentials were. The old pumpkins. But uh, yeah, they did a really good job. Super impressed. Since I was so impressed with Kelly's uh, Gen 8 V2 and her little body clips and everything and all being well greased and everything, I'm pretty impressed that those guys took that kind of care. I mean, you hear a lot of horror stories. All my Traxxas units have all been well greased. No, uh, no problems with any of them. So uh, I thought I'd just spend a few minutes out here goofing around. So another thing we goofed up on yesterday is <laughs> I usually mic us up when we're out here together. So if I point the camera down low, I'm just using a selfie stick with the camera attached to the end of it. But uh, when you're down low like that, it picks up all your uh, your footprints. 
So I didn't even think about it till I come back and was editing the video. I'm going, man, I don't know why. I just, I don't know, just didn't even think about micing us up. And that way the sound is, you know, up near us and not, you know, listening our footprints. Well, specifically mine, because the camera is under, right underneath my feet. Watch where I'm going here. But we'll see how this thing, if that helps at all. And thankfully it stopped raining. Man, that was miserable today. A couple of times there was sunshine. And Kelly goes, you need to get out there and go play. And I said, well, the sun's out. And I go, well... I'm not going to ride it, drive it in the rain. She goes, oh, it'd be nice with the sun shining in the barn anyway. And I go, yeah, that's that's true. But um, I kind of have your truck in pieces. She's like, why are you always taking it apart? <laughs> I said, well, it's just something I was thinking. I think somebody, I don't know what brand it was. But somebody was, t whoa, wait, easy there. Took their, uh, their truck. I don't think it was a Red Cat. I don't remember what it was, but anyway, they took it apart, and I mean, there was just like enough. It's kind of like that Chinese transmission. There's enough grease in there that it wouldn't kill it if I drove it. But um, yeah, it wouldn't have lasted very long. I mean, there was some grease in there. Well, let's try uh, try my little theory out. Oh, come on! You can turn sharper than that. And I'm gonna get the tires wet and then they'll get all kinds of slippery. See how what kind of a turn whoops what kind of turn we can make with this thing and and get on without oh well well I'll, it'll probably take some some tinkering. But I don't have to panic so much that I'm spot on. Watch me get cocky and run it right off of the thing first time I try it. Oh, I'm not even... <laughs> I was looking to see where the camera was there for a second. One of these days I'll get used to uh, holding the camera like this and... Because like, well... I looked at when I was showing you the... The body, uh, magnetic body retainers, the body clips, whatever you want to call them. Took the Velcro off and the magnets. And I'm looking, I'm going... Not even pointing the camera at what I'm talking about. I do that at work too. I'm used to, you know, just kind of point shooting at things far away whenever it's close. I'm pointing at it and looking at what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I always have the camera held too low. <sighs> First world problems, I guess. See how she does on the old oh yeah she takes right to the old feed bucket again not pointing the camera what a knucklehead for whatever reason the body's swaying too far to that side that's well that's not even not quite to the 50 percent mark what i was going to say is I've got her throttle set to 50% reverse. I know when you get stuck on things and unfortunately, you know, with the K10, I can just open up the app and, and change it right quick. This one, you gotta have, well, all the, the Fusion ones, the one that's in the truck is that um, powerful and fast um, axe setup from Hobby Wing that has a, electronic speed control and it's all bluetooth and all the all that fancy stuff but i didn't research apparently close enough it doesn't go quite as slow as this one definitely goes slow can i make that in one clean one clean sweep if i can keep my finger on the throttle nah she's gonna be a she's gonna be a two-parter or more maybe <laughs> if you guys look into these things they have a 
this weird thing with bump steer because of how the three link setup is up front in the Panhart bar. <laughs> People freak out over I gotta get that fixed and all their solutions for it and all that stuff. And I'm going, you know what? It is not stopping me or Kelly. If Kelly drove this thing for five years, she'd probably never know that that steering is doing that. You guys can look it up on all the Gen 8s. I think the Gen 2 or the version 2 is a little bit better, but at the same time, I think it's exactly the same. I think the Gen 9, it's gone, maybe, I don't know. Just, I don't know, if that Gen 9 does absolutely nothing to me, for me. There may be a, a different time, time and space, but it looks funky too. I don't like that, the body they used on it. I don't know, I thought it was a, still a licensed International Harvester um, body, but I don't know. It just, it just, just doesn't look right. Looks funky. I don't like it being, I know you could take the top off of these things back in the day. And they look cool, but I don't know. Just not into it. Anyway, how's that for a little rip? Heck yeah. I love the RC cars. It's funny, the people that aren't into it. You, you just, you're not into it because you have no idea what you're missing. And it's so weird for motorcycle people not to be into into RCs. I tell people at work, I said, hey, you wouldn't believe the people that are in motorcycles that comment on the videos and they don't like me doing the RCs. They don't understand it's a daily vlog and not a motorcycle vlog. And he goes, motorcycle people don't like RCs? He goes, no such thing, is there? I, go, <laughs> I didn't think so. But, uh, yeah, like they say, they're not true motorsports fans. They probably don't even watch car races. I go, yeah, could be. Not for me to decide. Well, hello there, YouTube. With literally probably four or five minutes left of sunset, clouds are sliding in, so it's making it darker than it should be. At sunset, well, you guys seen even last night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was mm -hmm. bright. Yeah. It's amazing what a blanket of clouds do. Yeah, they definitely filter the light out. Yeah. Or a light blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, what a chill. Well, we always have chill weekends, but we do. Yeah. We never like stress ourselves out over no, nothing. It's stressful at work. Well, so let's just chill. The only time it's stressful is like when I got some BRP or BMW test that needs to be done over the weekend or something. And that's my own fault because I don't get it done when I should, you know. <laughs> so you got nobody to blame with that, but. Those do feel good when you get them done, though, doesn't it? Yes. It's like, yeah, I don't have to worry about that no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not for another year. Yep. Which spider stuff will be coming here real soon. Yes, it will. I've already gone through the snowmobiles and watercraft, I think is what it was. Yeah. But anyway, hope you guys had an awesome weekend as well. And I think on that, we're going to roll out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an awesome Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. Back to the start of a new week. Well, yep. it's already started, but work week. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see you in the morning. We'll see you then. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.